Hi, this video is about uh, tuning your guitar and um, as you can see the lights on the uh, tuner are illuminated now as I speak because it's hearing me talk uh, which is an important point because if you're talking or if there's extraneous noise while you're tuning your guitar chances are your tuner is going to pick it up and it's going to throw everything off so make sure you're in a room that's completely quiet uh, if you're using a tuner. Some of the best tuners um, are uh, well, there's lots of different types of tuners, but the ones I use, um, one I use is a Korg. It's K-O-R-G. You can see it under the uh, display. Uh, and you can see there's an LED um, moving around up here. And then there's a display here, and there's a needle that moves back and forth. And the needle you want to put right in the middle. When the needle's in the middle, the, uh, the green light lights up, and that's pre pretty much where you want it. This over here is a flat symbol. This is a sharp symbol, the number sign and the hash symbol. And if it's too high, it goes this way. If it's too low, it goes this way. So it's kind of hard to see the LED, um, but essentially there's a letter up in this upper right-hand corner, and it tells you what note you're on. And you want your guitar to some to be somewhat tuned uh, when you do this. Um, and the reason I say that is because you could be tuning your guitar to F sharp or something. Uh, not to say that. There's not a tuning that contains F sharp, but just to say that if you're going to tune your guitar uh, in traditional tuning, it's important that it's E, A, D, G, B, and then E again, lowest to highest. So make sure that the uh, letter up here uh, corresponds with the string that you're on. If you're on the, the bottom string, which is E, then of course you know you want it to be you want it to say E and not uh, F because then you'll be tuning to F and so on and so forth. So. So you want your, your guitar somewhat in tune, um, usually it comes off, sometimes you can get the guy at the store when you buy it to, to give it to you uh, somewhat in tune, you can do sort of a, what's called an open tuning right there, and uh, when you buy the tuner, then um, you can take it home and, and you know, further delineate it and tune it up and sharpen, the, sharpen it up a little bit. It's, a, it's also really important to know that uh, when, you, when you tune your guitar, you want to use a pick. You don't want to use your finger. Uh, and the reason I say that is because the frequency that comes off a string that's been picked by the flesh is different than that which has been picked by the finger. Um, the, the frequency is sharper when you're using a pick. So make sure you're using a, a pick when you're doing this. And make sure that when you're tuning, you're doing exactly what I'm doing right now, which is picking down on the string over and over again and letting it ring out. And of course, we're gonna, I'm going to have to stop talking here because it's throwing everything off. So I'm going to stop talking now. Go ahead and try and tune this first one up. Looks like it's pretty much in the middle. A little sharp. Doesn't have to be exact. You see how the, the green light's on and the, right, and the red light's on at the same time? If both lights are on, it's all right. I mean, unless you're recording a full-length album and getting paid, you know, a gazillion dollars to do it, you really don't have to worry about being absolutely perfect. So if it does that right there, then that's okay. And your human ear can't even pick up that much difference anyway, so no one's going to notice. So that's the E string, the bottom E string, and you want to do this repetitively. And while you're doing this, let's say if it was flat, okay, There's, there's a flat E there. You can see it's on the left side, so it's too low. Why, while I am strumming it, or not strumming it, but picking the string here, I'm going to reach over with my left hand to the tuning head at the top of the guitar, and I'm going to twist it while I'm plucking the string. And you can hear what, what just happened there. It just went up just a, an eighth of a semitone or whatever. just try and get it in the middle as perfect as you can and then move to the next string A and make sure remember make sure A is showing up up here in the upper right hand corner it looks like we're a little sharp and we're talking about turning the tuning head like a hair like it's barely when you turn this thing don't torque it don't crank it around because if you do that, I'll just give you an example of what happens. I mean, we're on a completely different note now. We're on G, okay? Let's take it back.
back to A. And just try and put it right in the center. And there we go. And let's go to the next string, D. So I'm plucking with my right hand, and I'm tuning with my left, if I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, then it's the other way. And you can see it's jumping around a little bit. And that's okay. Remember, as long as you get it close, as long as the green light is illuminated over 75% of the time, you're, you're pretty good. Let's go to the B. Okay. And then E. High E. The high notes tend to jump around more than the low notes. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. There doesn't have to be no red light at all and just green only. There just has to be green more than 75% of the time and you're usually good. Um, that other 25% uh, is pretty much irrelevant as far as the hearing of the human ear is concerned. If you're around discerning musicians, then by all means keep tuning until you get it absolutely perfect. Uh, but if you're just playing guitar for the fun of it like I am, um, then 75% will usually be okay. Like I said, if you're recording a full-length album, you might want to think about it. If you're, if you're in that position, uh, you've got a whole different set of priorities anyway, and you probably don't need to watch this video. So, if you're not one of those people, and there's probably a 99.9% .9 chance you are not, uh, then enjoy yourself and have a good time, because that's really what it's all about. This tuner is a Korg CA, that is Cat Andrew 30. And it's a chromatic tuner, which means it can tune to any note uh, anywhere on the neck. Usually tuners come in two flavors, chromatic and then regular. And uh, regular tuners would only tune to, you know, the natural notes, E, A, D, G, B, E. This tunes to F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, B flat, whatever, uh, any note you want. And uh, it's therefore a little more complex. I suggest you get a tuner that looks exactly the same as the one that you're seeing. Uh, except it has a uh, silver casing instead of black. And I believe it's a Korg CA-15. I, I might not be correct there, but it is the simpler version of what you're seeing there, although this, this version is fine. These tuners are usually $15 to $20. And you can get them at musiciansfriend.com. I highly recommend them. They are a very good company uh, for any equipment, that uh, being PA equipment, vocal equipment, guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, DJ stuff, lighting, the whole nine yards, uh, musiciansfriend.com. Uh, and that pretty much concludes the, the tuning video. Uh, just to give everyone a heads up, there is a free software tuner that you can download on the site in the bonus section. It doesn't cost any money. It is not a trial version. It's a real tuner. It uses your microphone on your computer and um, is, is really pretty much the same interface, uh, just a little different. Um, but it, uh, it's, it works really well, and you're more than welcome to go to the bonus section, uh, just the drop-down menu uh, for online video lessons. Uh, you'll see bonus section. Just go there, and you'll see the, the download link for that tuner. It comes in a zip file, so you'll need to unzip the file and, um, and extract the contents onto your desktop, and it's a flash movie, basically and uh, that, that's a free tuner right there so you really don't need one. So if you have a microphone on your computer, if it's a laptop or a desktop, doesn't matter, there's a microphone on it and a set of speakers, you're, you're in business. In fact, uh, if you got both of those, there's a lot of stuff in the bonus section um, that you can utilize to do that. There's speed trainers and metronomes and uh, other things to take advantage of. So please take advantage of those things. Uh, this has been the tuning video. Thanks for watching and happy trails. And see you at lessons. This is Stu Johnson. Thanks a lot.